Welcome to Pod Watcher, the official podcast of Watcher Entertainment. I'm Shane. I'm Steven. I'm Kevin Lee. And today we're talking about Grogu. Neighbors. And uh, our last one is our special guest, Kevin Lee, <laughs> the magician. Yeah. And Kevin's going to do some tricks for us later. Yeah, so. to be clear, he will. And, and if, if they're not visual, we'll describe everything that's going on. <laughs> But if you do want to see the video, it will be on YouTube. Maybe you're watching it now. Hi. <laughs> Highly recommend. You're going to give us your whole biography. You're just going to talk about yourself. <laughs> going to go down the list. Yeah. I want some yeah, baby pictures. I want to know how, in how many ounces. Second. <laughs> well, this is a throwback to a previous episode where we, I think it was you or Ryan had chosen magic as your topic. And then the topic came up how I knew magician. Yeah. And... You know, it came up where I was pursuing my wife, yada, yada, met Kevin. Actually, I met you way before that, too. Mm -hmm. But um, now, where did, now you you're here. where did you guys meet? Did you already talk about this on the pod? I don't remember. I don't think we talked about where we yeah. met. No, let's, let's, but, uh, let's dig in. Community event. Community event. What was the, it was like a Koreatown. ISA basketball game, I think it was. No, before before that. Oh, before that. We it met was... at the parking lot in oh. Koreatown. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it was the night market. Korean night Yes. Oh, yeah. Good. Were you doing sort of David Blaine stuff in the parking lot? <laughs> I wasn't. I think we were just with a group of friends with like JP and- You're not too- No, but you're... he was. He was though. <laughs> you don't understand. He's being modest. But okay, I, I have a confession to make that I'll make to you publicly on this podcast. Whoa. At the time, I mean, you probably- I, I, I may have already told you this. I was very skeptical of, of you. I, I could se I can sense the skepticism. But it's sure. not you though. It's not you specifically. It's, it's magic. And you know how I feel about magic. I get it. It's the I, devil's work. It's <laughs> sell our souls to do card tricks. Do not engage. No, it's not the devil's work, but it is lying. Well, it's not. I don't. <laughs> it's, it's it's this. It's like deceiving. Deceiving. Yeah. Yeah. That's sort of the whole thing. But mm -hmm. I, it's hard for me. I'm a person who's like, uh, I'm a rule follower, you know, through and through, kind of like Ryan. But like, but Ryan loves magic. He loves he loves the showbiz. Well, I, he loves he loves the art of performance yes. you know he loves when some because yes. it's a really you know it's a craft it's a skill it's it's talent it's raw talent it's storytelling it's it is yes that, yeah. anyway so then this guy i was with some friends jp megan and a few others and you show up and uh oh, freaking kevin man steals the spotlight well, he's just, a, just in know, his like street clothing. He is a magician. He is a magician. <laughs> right. Well, I, I had you were like so young. You were like under twenty at the time. You were like 18, yeah, 17? I was. I was like high school, I think. And I, I just found every opportunity to practice. That's really wow. what it was for me. It's just like on a whim. Just want to put myself in that mindset. No, so we met in the parking lot, and he did this this stupid. I say stupid because I was furious. It was a great trick. It was an amazing trick. Does good does good magic make you angry? Mm, that's um, a it used to. I mean, yeah, you've come to terms with it. A lot it of used hours to of therapy. Because yeah. I, I I used to feel like it was. I literally felt like it was lying. Like it was like mm. just like you're deceiving me. <laughs> like you're making a fool of you. And it's because I got pranked a lot as a kid. So I, you know, you know, I oh, triggered that, you, that's Stephen. That's genuine. That's I'm sorry. That's kind <laughs> of dark, but that is dark. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, I joke about therapy, but a little deeper than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but anyway, he did this trick where he, the X trick where he literally takes an X off of, uh, your hand and puts it on his finger or is it the other way around? Yeah. I draw it on my hand and then I'm able to transfer it onto, onto hand. your hand. Yeah. He, he, he takes a Sharpie, draws an X on his hand and it goes from his hand. He touches your hand yeah, and it goes to your hand and it's gone from his hand and you can't wipe it off. That's nuts. <laughs> it, it's now become one of my favorite tricks. Uh, by the time, I just could not get out of the loop of how the heck did the, he just do that? And that's what infuriates me too. I gotta know, I have to know how it works. I, I'm, I've got some magic questions right off the bat. I'm curious where, I've got a few, I've, I don't talk to magicians very often. So I- Is that a, yeah. is that a, why? I hate them. <laughs> yeah, no, you're like me. I just, I just don't Rare know any. breed. <laughs> um, where do you uh, where do magicians uh, learn things, or or is there a lot where you 
because I know some magicians like make stuff up themselves. They make up their own tricks, which is, yeah. um, is it, can you not answer that? No, I can answer that. I feel like I'm under the, the list of stereotypical starts. Like my grandpa taught me my first trick. Really? I did. That's I did fun. learn from That's him. That's really cute. Um, Dang it. Now I, now <laughs> I have to like you even more. That's so annoying. Again, th th this reaction to being <laughs> kind no, towards no, no. someone, this anger. Wait, no, I have to, let me finish the... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't remember answering that question. I used to I used to be so skeptical of you. And then there was a moment I think it flipped when I was like, wow, this guy I think it was when I realized you work your ass off. That's like what like, gained yeah. my respect for you. Like how how hard you grind in magic. And and when I thought of it that way, instead of like he was trying to trick me or deceive me, I think I it anyway. Yeah, so you can answer your question that question now. But I mean, yeah. I think my biggest goal as a magician is to just make people feel yeah like, take them back to a, a very special moment in their life which we can try out some different new ideas today actually when i was a boy we would <laughs> always go to a local pizza restaurant lou melnati's oh in chicago <laughs> yeah nice and there was always a magician there on sunday nights would go around to the different tables and do uh, magic tricks for kids Close up, walk around yeah mm -hmm. so i want you i hope today that i'll be that little boy again yeah I'll did do you actually best. bring material I, I do have. Okay. Well, because we things. invited you, and I, I told you no pressure if you don't, you know. Yeah. I don't want to treat you like a, you know, like they tell comedians, say a joke, you know. No, I get be it. Be funny. It's like, yeah. Like yeah. For me, it's like, I, I love doing it. Um, People can be very rude about it sometimes on the streets. I, hey, 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 I've seen you before. Show me something. It's like, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really know who you are, but <laughs> it's still, it's still fun for me at the end of the day. Uh, should I finish the answer to your question? Okay, Sorry, yeah, yeah, like, I, should I, I go yeah, back yeah, to yeah, that? Yes, yes, well, because I also wonder, I know with like, uh, in terms of like magic tricks, there's a lot of like techniques and stuff. Are yeah. some tricks just magicians like drawing on numerous techniques to create something new? Is that like engineering new magic tricks essentially? I mean, for the most part, nothing is original. Yeah. I mean, that goes for anything, right? So it's we're just like modernizing it, changing up the presentation. Yeah. I'm like going to touch can, on that with Grogu. Mm, yeah. You can see the same card trick a million different ways yeah because of just what they're saying and how they're presenting it same goes with music you know yeah. chord progressions where there's nothing new out there it's changed the style of song exactly wait so did you learn so after your grandfather taught you your first trick did you then study it did you like buy magic kits i or? started off at my local library so i found any books i can do yeah um all cheesy so it was like party tricks right it's like get this red cup and this party hat i'm like I'm at school, so I don't think this is going to work out. But uh, YouTube became a thing later on, and I attended YouTube University to learn a lot of uh, the sleight of hand and close-up. Any magicians on YouTube you'd want to shout out for being an inspiration for you? I'm oh, I'm going to I'm gonna go like in the archives. Like One name that immediately stands out, Miss Mag 822 Like I still remember the Damn. name. Because like, he had this weird voice, like, hey, Miss Mag 822 here. <laughs> and he never showed his face. So it was just like his hands. And a table and a deck of cards. Yeah. And because of him, I was able to do like 50 card tricks. That's just, dope. Like on a whim. I, I have my YouTube inspirations too, like of why I got into this industry, which is why I asked. Like mm -hmm. Wong Fu and Kev Jumbo. Yeah, Wong Fu, yeah. Yeah, those, those guys. Cheers to the new year from our friends at Manscaped. Because your resolutions shouldn't be the only things that are well kept. 2024 is the time for new heights, new opportunities, and a new look for your Times Square balls. Manscaped's Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is every man's cheat code to look good, feel good, and turn the page of confidence this year. Whether you're looking to maintain a trim or go for that clean shaven look, this trimmer has you covered. Trusted by over 10 million men worldwide, now is your time to get a grip on your grooming with our exclusive offer. Go to manscaped.com and use the code WATCHER for 20% off and free shipping. Hey Shane, what was your favorite part of 2023? Well, I got uh, married to the love of my life, the wondrous uh, Sarah Rubin. That's gorgeous. Well, for me, it was learning about Manscaped fifth generation lawnmower. Yeah, I see what I see. What's happening here? Yeah, it's not just a trimmer; it's your grooming sidekick. Equipped with two skin-safe blade heads, a standard one for taking a little off the top, and a new foil blade to go smooth wherever your heart desires. It's like having a personal stylist at your fingertips, or well wherever you need it. And did we mention it's waterproof? And for my folks who want the full grooming experience, look no further than Manscaped's Performance Package 5.0. In this grooming kit, you get the trusted lawnmower 
Manscaped's ear and nose hair trimmer and essential aftercare products with the Crop Soother Ball Aftershave Lotion and Crop Preserver Anti-Chafing Ball Deodorant. As a gesture for the new year, they even threw in two free gifts, the Boxers 2.0 and the Shed 2.0 toiletry bag. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code watcher at manscaped.com because nothing says happy new year like a deal that leaves your balls and your budget feeling refreshed. Embrace a new you and definitely embrace a new trimmer courtesy of Manscaped. I've got two other magic questions. One, you can have more than two, by the way. Like, you're not and and Others may arise. <laughs> you know, it takes a long time to learn these things. Do you feel like you get to a point where you have them like fully locked in before you take it out? Or have there been times over the course of your career where you flubbed it? And do you have like a go-to recovery or are you just like, ah, oh, fuck, sorry? <laughs> mm. Was you're asking if it takes a while to develop a trick and then perform it and yeah. then how do I, how do I recover when I fail? So two, two seconds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Is there, so, are there like backups in place? Always. Yeah. A magician always has to have like different backups. Um, and that's the fun part because no one ever knows. Yeah. Sometimes go. the backups, feel, mm -hmm. you know, like if the trick in the end does wow you, you're like, it was all part of it. Yeah. Mm. It was just a, it was a showmanship of it. In terms of like creating something, developing it over time, it, it can range. Like some of the, the creations that I've done, it could be like years until I feel comfortable enough to like put it out there. But I, I've been um, really changing my creative process when I create something like I try to do it as fast as possible because I know that the only way it can get better is by doing it in front of a live crowd. You know, I can practice all I want in front of my girlfriend um, or the mirror, but that's only going to get you so far. Yeah. When you're in a live crowd, the energy completely changes. So mm. that's when you can learn so much. Even if you fail in that moment, I think it's worth it. I forgot we should actually go into some of his accolades, just just so you know. Yeah, I, I want to hear it. Sure. Kevin was actually on Fool Us, yes. the Penn and Teller show. Love that show. And he actually, on the second attempt, fooled the guys. Yeah. Well, the first time, that was my first time on national television. Yeah. And being that I was performing in front of like two of my biggest idols in magic, uh -huh. I was pretty scared. <laughs> Very nerve wracking. My parents were in the crowd too. So I wanted to like make sure they're, they're impressed. I love but... that show because they, even when they do figure it out, they usually like call them over and they're like, did you do a little bit of they this? They use this? lingo. And, then, and yeah. that's why it's like so, it's so smooth. Penn just has like the words ready to go. Uh -huh. And Teller's just like nodding his head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're always just so supportive of everyone on that show. They are. And they're, you know, when your heroes turn out to be nice people, it's such yeah. a good feeling. So I was able to chat with them backstage. That's incredible. Yeah. When, when you first went on that show, were you just like, I mean, if, Starstruck. if you're a kid and you're practicing magic as a child to be performing for Penn and Teller, it's yeah. insane. That's no, crazy. Especially because I got to share like my original ideas and that was like, because they know so much, I wanted to show them something they haven't seen before. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm going to go, I'm going to, I'm going to look those up and watch them. Recently uh on america's got talent yeah agt nice agt mm -hmm. that's the big one yeah and uh oh well, why don't you tell us how i i watched the full performance and i i did tear up a little bit i will oh, say i, I actually that. yeah and i don't usually cry watching movies i'm i'm wow. dead inside that means a lot Steven. yeah but something about the way you told the story and you know your performance just seeing you on that stage you know i know how much you've work to get there and yeah tell us about it you're making me so emotional right now don't make me cry right now i mean that process was nine years i started auditioning when i was in like middle school high school and i would just send audition tapes then you would has go, america's got talent been on that long it has That's since crazy. i was in elementary school wow yeah, yeah they had jerry springer and then nick cannon later on oh my gosh was, Spr was springer a host yeah springer was a very first i, host. I guess he would be he wouldn't sure be like, hey judges. it's me jerry springer i've got talent <laughs> Yeah. And, you know, I, I understand that they're always looking for something very specific. It's like reality TV. Um, so I'm glad that they didn't actually accept any of my submissions before. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have been happy looking back. But the time, it just all worked out. And yeah, I mean, I just, it, it was a crazy day. Um, we're backstage, like ready to go on there. And you talk to Terry, the host, Terry Crews. And then there's like this little hallway and then boom, you're on stage. So it's like, all right, your wow. call time, ready to go. Terry's like, hey, how you feeling? I'm like, excited. I was like scared <laughs> shitless. Like, let's do it. And he's like, all right, go on stage. And then 
I just go on and then it's like 4,000 people, like two levels. Oh my God. And the adrenaline just like hits you. Was like that in bullet. LA? Yeah, it's at the here? Pasadena Civic Center. Oh, okay. And just the judges looking at me. I'm trying to make eye contact. Who are um, the judges? Simon Cowell, Howie Mandel, Sophia Vergara, and Heidi Klum. Wow. That's a stacked yeah. cast. That's crazy. And they were so nice. Um, you know, after the adrenaline kind of ran out, I just felt very comfortable on stage because I was waiting for that moment for such a long time. Yeah. That I just, yeah, I got very emotional. Were you prepared emotionally if they were like, this shit sucks? See, that's the thing. <laughs> like, I, I did I did my research. <laughs> I like, I watched all the magic performances with my girlfriend. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like, from all the way back to when they first started the show. We watched every single magician. We studied what I like, what I resonated with, what the judges didn't like. Mm. We just kind of, you know, built that dream routine. So I think out of that bunch, I can see Howie Mandel and Heidi Klum really enjoying magic. Yeah. They seem like like magic puppies, you know. For sure. Yeah. They're sick for Simon the was unusually supportive, like positive. Uh. And, and yeah he's a soft man he's, a, he's gotten soft Isn't especially he, yeah yeah he's but, sort of like for a while leaning into being a, a bit of a nasty but man. still he's even though he's soft, he's honest yeah that's what you know yeah, that's why i like simon didn't he make one direction he i think he did didn't he Harry form Styles. that group yeah on the x factor yeah. well he like chose like five kids from the show and then bunched them together that's crazy he man. believes in real magic <laughs> like <laughs> He believes that magic this exists. This whole episode, I've been, <laughs> I've been going into Joe Rogan territory. I okay. just keep saying, that's crazy. <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, my third and final magic question. Have you ever been performing for someone? Um, because I remember being at Six Flags Great America in Gurney, Illinois. Mm. And uh, there was a hypnotist show. It was around Halloween. So they were just like, oh, hypnotist. and um she brought people up on stage and she was like, I'm hypnotizing you. And they called up one of my friends. Yeah. And I can't remember what she did. I think she made people like bark like dogs or something. And she was like, snap out of it. And, uh, and he was under the spell and we were like, that's crazy. And then afterwards we were like, how did it, what was it like? And he was like, Oh, I, I didn't really feel anything. I just didn't want to ruin the show. <laughs> Um, and I, well, I often wonder good sport, though. how good sport. much, uh, like, especially like something like that, hypnotism, wondering how often it's just like, just don't ruin the show. Yeah. The pressure of that. But have you ever done a magic trick and realized like, oh, maybe I didn't sell that, but the person is just like, oh, really good. I they're being like, they're being patronizing. <laughs> oh man, they're yeah. being good sport yeah. just for a second. Yeah, yeah. I, I did get that a lot, especially for my family. I spent I growing up, I'm sure, especially yeah. when you're like, tr like getting good at it. Yeah. Yeah. But it was always those friends and family members that were really real with me. They're like, I saw how you did that. Yeah. Even though I get mad because my little fragile ego as a kid, <laughs> it, it would make me realize like I still have a lot to work on. Yeah. But yeah, I've experienced that before and it's, it's nice of them. But I tell people nowadays, like if I actually mess up, don't lie and make me. You want to know. Just be honest. You want to hone that crap. Be honest. Mm. Yeah. I'll be honest. Those are my three magic questions. Yeah. Well, we're going to get back to the magic at the end of the episode. Okay. Um, but before that, we should probably just dive into our topics. Okay. Do you want to go first or should I go first? I'll go first. Grogu. What is Grogu? Grogu is Baby Yoda. Oh. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I don't, I didn't watch any of Mandalorian. Mandalor this is might that... be a short one. Grogu's in the news today. Well, the, Grogu is a short one, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Grogu's in the news today because they're making a Grogu movie. No way. Grogu the movie. No. A I'm Grogu movie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so cute. So cute. Um, what do you think about that? <laughs> My other topic was maybe pants. I feel uh, like... So I went with Grogu. <laughs> what about your coffee? It's from Lazy Acres. But I don't I, really have an update. Uh, well, I'll I'll say. Um, uh, hang on. I'll talk about Grogu. You want me to talk about Grogu? I think we should talk about Grogu and then go back to the coffee. Matt wants to talk about Grogu before no, we go I, into I, Lazy I, Acres. I, I want, do you have anything to say? Matt about Grogu? wants to talk. Want, Matt has opinions about Grogu. Tell us your opinions <laughs> no, I about do not. Grogu. I want this show to have a structure. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> leave us all in. It's gone. Give us a one. I've never watched the Grogu show. 
You've the Mandalorian the Grogu show. Are you going to see the Grogu? Oh, I watched movie? the first episode. Okay. No. What? I love that his name is Grogu. I didn't even know his name. I just know he's Baby Yoga. It's Yoda. Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> he's Grogu is his name. Uh, uh, I think he talks sometimes. Does he talk now? It's more like a, <laughs> he, he <laughs> coos. That's like he the coos. subtitle. He no, coos. but I could have sworn where I I stopped watching after season one, but mm-hmm. I could have sworn I saw a clip where he was like, "How is it going?" <laughs> or something. Like he's starting to talk English now. Okay. Oh. I, so I I have zero context on anything about. Oh, Baby what do you want to know? You got. I want to know a lot. Cues? Okay. Well, so like, Grogu's a baby Yoda. Baby Yoda shows up in the Mandalorian. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And child. He's not talking. He don't talk. He's a baby. What he's, does he do? Does he fight? Like an alien baby. He's an alien baby. Yeah. He has like a force field. <laughs> well, he's not an alien to himself. He's fifty. <laughs> he's fifty 50? years old in the oh. movie. Yeah, or I don't know that. <laughs> no, the, it's a show. In the, the, oh, well, show. wouldn't it be funny if the movie he was all grown up? Did you watch That's the regular show? Yoda? That's then. regular Yoda. Did I watch the show? Why do I feel like I'm? I watched I somehow know one. more. Okay, let me tell you this. And look, I'm not a big. He's fifty years old. He's fifty as a baby. Yeah, I think he's fifty. Yeah, because they age different. Yoda's live. Yoda was like three hundred years old or something. In the prequels, right. he's like mm-hmm. what three hundred, and then something the, like in the, he's the like later, he's like eight hundred. Why does he have 800? a different name? Because he's not okay. Okay, so. They're calling him Baby Yoda. I love giving a Baby Yoda info dump here in the year of our Lord 2024. <laughs> they call him Baby Yoda because he's the same, by by all appearances, he's the same species as Yoda. And in the old Star Wars movies, I, well, I was going to say there's no other Yodas, but there's, uh, there's what's the her name? Lady Yentl Yoda. or <laughs> yeah, <it's... laughs> Grendel? Uh, Grendel sounds right. Gr- um. Yaddle? Got, I'm a little lost. Oh, right? Yaddle. <laughs> Yaddle. Uh, I watched okay. a little bit. There's a yeah. lady Yoda named okay. Yaddle. Yaddle. And you got to see her. Oh, God. She's hot as hell. I'll, I'll, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> you got Yaddle for us? I thought about showing you the lady gremlin, but I didn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would have lost my mind. Uh, the lady gremlin has a name, too. They should put her in Star Wars. Right, or maybe this, she could see this Yaddle. That's character. Yaddle. Wait, what? Okay. That looks like Yoda. <laughs> no, that's a lady. She's I'm got blind. sort of long hair like Lara Croft. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the first comp I would make, but um Kevin, what's your um Star Wars depth of knowledge? Like how oh, at all? I have all the the VHS tape. Okay, so the but it was like the, the more recent the one with um, into TV. Liam Neeson. That, that round. Yes, yes, yes. The, yeah. the prequels, mm-hmm. the episode prequels. one, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Loved it. I love that those are you know because I was when those came out. I was when did that first come out? Ninety nine. I was like twelve, thirteen, mm. and like I think I was just old enough where people were like, hey, I don't know about these. But it's funny when you talk to people who were like a lot younger when they came out. They're like, I love those movies because <laughs> they're like you know they're for children. Hey, folks, let's talk about microdosing. Uh, look, there's absolutely nothing better than that beautiful space between amped up and well-rested, where your body is relaxed, but your mind is at ease and perfectly in the moment. You know what I call that? I call that being in the zone. It's just a little phrase that I made up and nobody else has ever said. Uh, anyway, microdosing can help you get into this wonderful zone and stay there longer. Microdose gummies deliver perfect entry-level doses of THC that help you feel just the right amount of good. I'm a big fan of these gummies. Just the other night, I had one. It made me feel cozy and good. What do you think about that? Then I fell asleep and I slept great. And the next morning, I felt very refreshed and I went to work. Then I came home from work and I had more. (laughs) Anyway, trust me, I love these gummies and you're going to as well. Get 30% off your first order plus free shipping today at microdose.com. Promo code WATCHER. It's available nationwide. That's microdose.com. Promo code WATCHER for 30% off and free shipping. Microdose.com. Promo code WATCHER. Um, he looks like Yoda. So they just called him Baby Yoda. Everyone... But he's maybe not the same Yoda. It's not the same Yoda. Definitely oh. not the same. He is, he is not Yoda. Because wow. by the time That's this comes here. out, Yoda is dead? I, timeline I think Yoda. Yoda's it after? It's after, yeah. I it's apologize. After. Yoda's dead. To all the Star Wars fans and Charlie here in our office, who's a Star Wars fan. Like, I I feel like I'm going to watch all of this, all the Mandalorian and all the shows, after I watch Grogu. No. That's usually how it is for me. Like, I'll watch one thing, but oh, I want you the context of this story. You, you do this Give me all yeah. the TV. 
It's too much. That's a lot. Yeah. So the um <laughs> in the in the yeah. prequels, Yoda's eight hundred and sixty four years old. Damn. Oh. And then um in the other movies, he's eight hundred and seventy seven. And then he dies. And then the other one's fifty years old. I just made something super random. Oh. Can you just like I cover it real fast? It look it looks like nothing. I have the ability of like a six year old child for molding, but okay. when it, when an idea just like comes very clear and then you try to execute it, it, it goes goes. Yeah, we don't have All to comment time. that. Should we cut that out? Do I not? No, no, no. You can you oh, okay. show this part. I mean, I it's thought just, I heard um, something. It was just happened. a random thought, but. Well, what else? Do, oh, let me think about what else I have to say about Grogu. When's the movie coming out? No idea. Okay, I I probably will watch that movie. What do you think? Of, Grogu's everywhere, though. You can't avoid him. You know, well, I think it's Grogu, a Grogu nation, and we live in it. Grogu's a cute little boy. Yeah, I'm he down. eats orbs. He eats little orbs, eggs. Yeah, the yeah. caviar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, that's my kind of guy. But they're babies, <laughs> so he's sort of. I guess uh, we eat meat, you know, or some of us do. Not all of us. So it's going to be called The Mandalorian and Grogu. I know it's okay. called The Mandalorian and Grogu, but it's the Grogu movie. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know. I'm excited for the Grogu film. I'm not going to watch any more Mandalorians, but um, I'm excited. Isn't there a Mando 2? Uh, there's, a... there's like two or three Mobile seasons. Season. Yeah, there's really okay. cool. And a movie oh, now. Okay. And then they do like... Oh, wow. You know, I'm so there's, behind. There's like Boba Fett. The Book of, Fett. The book yeah. of Boba ah, Fett. Ah, yes. I can't be keeping up with all these. Mm. Only one I can stick with is Andor. Love my Andor. Anyway, yeah, I'm excited for you guys to go on a Grogu journey. I guess I I didn't know what I really had to say about Grogu, but Grogu's in the news, so I I, I think people would have been wondering what we thought about it if we didn't comment on it. <laughs> I, I don't. Sure, I still think people don't know how you what you think about it. But well, I think I've made myself abundantly clear. <laughs> <laughs> Chime off in the comments about. Uh, yeah, Grogu. And please, maybe somebody go in there and just like give me the TLDR of like everything I he should know about Grogu. No, uh, he's a baby well, Yoda. Now he talks. Give me also the fact checked as well. It's everything orbs like caviar. <laughs> so that's that's everything you need to know about him. And he's going to be a movie star. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, sir. I I feel I feel like uh, this reminds me of when you guys used to talk about Vision all the time. Funny guy, yeah. and I and I had not watched any of the Marvel movies, and I'd be like, "Yeah, cool, funny guy." And then now I, I wish I could go back in time and chime in on those conversations because I mean, we can do it right now. Vision is a huge loser. <laughs> what do you think about that? I think he's a nice guy. <laughs> of course he is. I think. <laughs> uh, did you watch? You can be a nice guy and a loser. I did. I, I loved one Vision. What? Oh. what again? Back oh, the magic! Uh. Wow. Stephen Strange is a bit of a magician, huh? Yeah. Doctor Strange? Strange? Yeah. He's the actual sort magician. Sort of a right? wizard. Yeah. Do you have any Marvel inspired magic? <laughs> Marvel inspired magic. Yeah, I mean we we know Simu, so like any like uh you know, you throw on like ten rings and I don't know. <laughs> sort of Doctor Strange esque. Do you do stuff with the rings? You know, the people who have those rings where they're like, I got two rings. And then they rub them together, and they're like, "Kunk." I honestly, it's boring, right? Hate that trick. Like, Sucks. Wait, what is it? The trick? I get it's classical. It's like the Chinese linking rings. The oh, rings called, right? Shunk. it's like we all know the method. I don't. I don't think. I there's assume like, there's like a little tiny slot in it or something that you can't really it's see. A one way slot. Yeah, it's. So, uh, I mean, this is an old old trick. It, that that is the method. Yeah, but it's like people can present it different ways, but that's still the method. So it's one of those things where I don't think. There can be that much innovation. How do you know whether or not you can share a, a trick? You just have to know the history of magic. And um, I mean, it's ironic, right? Because as a magician, that's how we learn. Like, oh, you can't share the secret. Yeah. But that, that's how we Yeah, that's what started. I was curious about when I was kind of touching on earlier. Like, mm -hmm. how could, if anyone can, I guess maybe there's a world too where like not every, every normal person like me could be like, where can I learn magic? Yeah. I think once you've proven yourself as a magician, there's probably more avenues for you to learn stuff mm -hmm. where people are like, you're a magician, I'll tell you this or how yeah. teach you this thing, right? There's certain things you can teach and certain things I don't I think it's not acceptable. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Fascinating. Are you um I'm always uh interested in when magicians and we'll move on to well we're still talking about Grogu, but we'll be moving on to a different <laughs> And we can't forget soon. the Lazy Acres update. Lazy Acre do you want the Lazy Acres no, no, update no, no, right no, now? I'll give it to you right now. I went to Lazy Acres this morning, got a coffee. And they nailed it. Is it do they have matcha? Did you check? 
forgot to check. I came in so Ooh. early. You know what? Next time we record a podcast, if we do it earlier in the day, okay. I'll get some match for you. I didn't spend the gift card. Uh, one of our wonderful viewers sent us a Lazy Acres gift card. Yeah. And I didn't spend it this morning, but I'll tomorrow when we record a, an episode. Okay. The other magic thing I was curious about, so I guess this is a fourth question, or maybe I'm just curious if you can speak on this. When magicians, when it's more just about like, not just about like sleight of hand or, or the way you've con constructed a trick using various techniques and stuff, but where you're actually engineering like um, equipment or like- uh, like you, illusions. Like illusion tech, essentially. Have you dabbled in that? Or do you know people who've dabbled in that? Or are, are you more like presentation with the human body? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's never done magic. <laughs> yeah, I do know people who dabble a lot in illusions. Um, yeah. And for me personally, I like to just use very common everyday yeah. items. And because I like to focus more on the mentalism, like the psychological side of magic, yeah, yeah. you don't really need much. Mm. When it comes to illusions, I was able to work with uh, Jackson Wang on a, on a big illusion to close out his set. You know who Jackson Coachella. Wang is? Uh -uh. He is maybe the biggest international, one of the biggest international K-pop stars. Oh, wow. But yeah, no. So he's, he's like cream of the crop. Anyway, yeah. Just... So talented. No, I mean, he had an album called Magic Man, literally. So I met him a couple years back at this random party. And then I saw him again at the 88 festival. And then afterwards we kept in touch. He's like, hey, you should create something for the end of my show. Oh, that, that's like, so cool. Let's do it. And he's like, something that no one has ever seen before. I'm like, what are we going to do at okay. for a modern <laughs> audience, you know? <laughs> and we came up finally um, with the uh, entire team to stab him. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Is, are yeah. there, is it on YouTube? It's on YouTube. Oh, good. I want to yeah. watch that. Can I watch that right now? Snapping. You could. No, it, you should. should. Pull it up. It's, it's actually insane. Uh, he's like floating on a sword. And it's and by the way, it's not like a, a it's Coachella. It's like an outdoor stage. Oh, is it was like, a Coachella? Yeah, Coachella. Oh, my God. Sahara stage. It, oh, so, <laughs> That's it. Yeah. What yeah. we're seeing right so now I'm making is, sure that it's safe. It is, Kevin honestly speaking, it's a very dangerous a man. illusion. That's... Oh! <laughs> he just fell on the fucking sword <sighs> wow that's <laughs> crazy kill jackson wing that's so insane that's so insane one that's of the hardest solutions to do and this man i told him that before he's like let's do it wow <laughs> i'd always i always wanted to be in uh you know a magic show you know be the guy they, they cut my little tootsies off or something i like i like the idea of been, being in a box and wiggling wait my what feet. are your tootsies can we just clarify that? i guess my toes or okay my feet. I, my, tootsies, my... that could also refer, refer to like the tootsie roll like... i just love when they put you in the box and they're like wig and wiggle your feet and you you go like <laughs> you know yeah and it's... yeah and then they, they, and then chop, they me. chop me chop me or drown my ass or something um should i talk about my topic a little bit yeah what do you got Let's just, yeah, I, I'll I'll keep it brief because I do want to see the magic. I want to. It's magic. It's almost magic. But I've been I've been dying to share this story because I need an outlet. Okay. My wife often tells me that mm -hmm. I, I remind her a little bit of Larry David in Curb Your Enthusiasm. I can oh. see that. And uh, <laughs> this story really cemented that. Do you, have you seen that show at all? Uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yeah, 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 and he's kind of like it. this absurd honest and doesn't degaff kind of person i was walking my dogs the other day yeah my topic is neighbors by the way and um i am i try to be the most considerate neighbor i possibly can yeah for a while um you know where do i even start ruth my lovely australian shepherd ruth she's a beautiful dog but she'd be crazy sometimes she's crazy and for some reason she doesn't like to do her business in our yard. Uh, and I think it's because she tries to trick me to take her on a walk before she'll do her business. Okay. It started when she was a baby and she's been doing it ever since. Baby. The other thing that I'll share about this dog, and a lot of female dogs are like this, is you know how a lot of male dogs will lift up their leg to pee? So you can tell they're peeing. I've seen that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Female dogs don't need to lift their leg up. They just squat. 
okay. and pee. Yeah. They never lift the leg up, huh? Wow. Not that they don't. Some of them just learn how to lift their leg up just because it's like they just see other dogs doing it. But my dog never learned to lift her leg. She just squats, which is great. It's fine. Yeah. Normal, normal situation. But it looks like sometimes she's pooping if she's peeing. <laughs> it looks like she's pooping, but she's peeing. It's a magic trick. She's Misdirection. a magician. That's what Mister, sure. Yeah. Deception. Misdirection. <laughs> you have magic all around you, Steven. <laughs> anyway, I took her on a walk recently and... um. You know, she's just, I took her, she, we're walking, she pees. Makes peeps. Makes little peeps. Do pee. you say something when they be like, oh, make I, say, I say, good potty. A good uh, peep, peep. And I get a little treat. Yeah. As I'm walking away, my neighbor drives up to me. Hey, you piece of shit. It's like, yes. Pick up after hey, your dog. Your dog just pooped. And you didn't pick up after your dog. And I was like, Huh? Wait, what? No, she didn't poop. And I looked back where she peed. Yeah. And it was like, no, she peed, not poop. And she's like, no, I saw your dog poop. <laughs> and I was like, no, she peed, not poop. And he's like, no, back there, I saw it. And I was like, no, no. Were wait, you like, I walk promise. with me. Take a walk look. with me. I was like, no, I literally was like, look, there's no poop. There's no poop on the ground. And before I, as I look up at her, she's driving away. And that moment has traumatized me over the past week. Yeah, that's frustrating. Uh, because... When someone she never saw that it was pee. When it wasn't someone poop. thinks you're being again. <laughs> discourteous and you're and I try so hard. Yeah, in you're, my neighborhood. You're a decent man. I bring poop bags. Yeah, I bring treats. I bring napkins. I bring the works. I understand people's frustration because I mean I'm sure. You, We've all got in L.A. People just let their dog shit everywhere and don't pick they, up. That and that is the problem. Um. So I understand why, why people might be wound tightly and ready to pounce. There's, but. there's stray dogs too in my neighborhood. Sometimes they, they, they poop and there's yeah. nobody to poop. And I sometimes am the guy who goes and picks up random pieces of poop in the neighborhood anyway. I would never do that. Yeah, that's I nice do it because... Uh, that's very kind of you. I have to, you know, as a dog owner, I understand. And, I, and like most dog owners don't have poop bags, right? Like you probably don't own like, oh, you do for you have a cat. I don't have I poop like bags. You have, you, you, do you have poop bags? Like no, I have no, a litter you box. Just, you just litter box and then well, just the litter box into the yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, I have poop bags. I pick up the poop and I, you know. Anyway, I just this this image of me yelling at this lady. <laughs> She's driving away. Look, there's no poop. There's no poop. It's burning in my head. I just I wish I could just chase after this car and say, look, just look for one second. There's no poop. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. Well, it also might have been in a situation where they realized they were incorrect and then we're just trying to save face and i don't they were think like, so. i'll just get out of here you know? I, I don't think so i think she just she was just fed up with me and i felt i, I was like should i just been like i'm so sorry I, i'll pick it up yeah should i just have done that what is no. the right solution like because i just got into an argument with my neighbor no that, i would have i would that have, eats you up i would have done what you did yeah i would have no, been like, like they're your neighbor yeah you can see them again and just Clear up the misunderstanding by telling them or sending them the link to this podcast. And yeah, yes, that's yeah. it, Kevin. That's the that's the ticket. Yeah, it's the beginning of the year, twenty twenty four. New year, new you. Right. Well, a new you has to start with getting a good night's rest. Miracle Made offers exactly what you need to get the sleep that you need to wake up ready to tackle whatever it is twenty twenty four has to offer. Using silver-infused fabrics inspired by NASA, Miracle-Made sheets are thermoregulating and designed to keep you at the perfect temperature all night long, so you get better sleep every night. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. Miracle sheets are also luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel as nice, if not nicer, than sheets used by some five-star hotels. And they're made with your skin in mind. See, bacteria can clog your pores, causing breakouts and acne. Sleep clean with Miracle. Go to trymiracle.com slash watcher to try Miracle Made Sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo watcher at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, why, you'll get a full refund. 
Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash watcher and use the code watcher to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash watcher to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. I had um, a similar experience a few days ago. I was where I assume it was my neighbor was walking down the sidewalk and uh, one of my neighbors was, uh, they had like a stroller with their child in it and were like tending to their child sort uh-huh. of in the middle of the sidewalk. And I was like, no big deal. I'll walk around. And she saw me sort of like averting and she was like, I'm so sorry. And I meant to, w- what I meant to say was, oh, it's okay. But as I was speaking, um, you know, every now and then when you speak like, you Maybe you're swallowing or mm-hmm. something. You just sort of like swallow your words. <laughs> so she said, oh, I'm so sorry. And the w- what came out of my mouth was, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's 100% your fault, though. <laughs> you should not be swallowing. I don't know what happened. I did think you, because you I, I think I because I had swallowed some of my words, I like tried to project more. But at that point, the first half of the sentence was gone. So I just said, okay. <laughs> And did you clarify? I didn't clarify. Just I just kept that. walking. I was like, fuck. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> I'm going to think I'm a, a real asshole. Uh, I think neighbors are the hardest relationship to have in life. Yeah, that's why I don't have any re- with my neighbors. But I also live in an apartment where it's like, mm. the I've noticed that the people in my building who do have dogs are all very friendly with each other because they're always outside and they're like, can he say hello? You know, mm. can he say hi? Do you, wait, friendly. they ask you to say hi? To the other dog people, uh, not to me. Okay. Do you, Kevin? You're a cat man. Cat person. My girlfriend has cat. Yeah. And we're actually picking up two more. No you're picking way. Up two more from Japan. From Japan. From Japan. Going in a month. I'm sorry. Are they like like a cool breed or something? Yeah. Or? I'll show you a picture of it. Let me see. They're these. um. Were you exotic long hairs? Were you a cat person before? No. This? Not at all. I'm I'm new to yeah, cats, and by that I mean I've had one for five years. But before that, I had never had a dog or a cat. And. Uh, Oh my God! No way! Those look like puppies. No way! Artemis and Dolly already named them. Wow! Are they are they kittens? Yeah, four months. Oh my gosh! They're Do gonna you, have a blast. Has your current cat? Because we have one cat, and we'd love to get another cat. But our cat, um, we got him in the first place because the home that he was at when he was very young, he just kept trying to kill the other cats. Oh. Very territorial. Yeah, so they were like, we got to get rid of him. Our we love him. kind of like that, and I'm a little worried, but... We'll I've read that if, if you introduce cats that are pretty young, yeah, that then it, it they can sort of okay. assert their dominance, and it's I'm fine, so maybe that. you'll be all right. When mm-hmm. are you going to get those? February. Oh, first. so soon. Yeah. yeah mm. February 1st. And then you got to fly back. Do a trip, get them, and then fly back. Oh, That's my That's a gosh. long flight with yeah. two cats. Are they going to be Worth underneath it? your chair, or...? Uh, no, there, there's like a case. Okay. Yeah. Like a basket. Wow. I'd love to fly with my cat, but I don't know. <laughs> I saw a guy at the airport the other day with a cat had a little like sort of Bane mask on at the mm. airport. It's pretty cool. That's pretty sick. Why Why would you do that to your cat though? I don't know, but it was, I was like, and he just had the cat like sitting out on the seats in the terminal. Wow. And I was like, if I did that with my cat, it would hyperventilate until it died. Yeah, most yeah. would. <laughs> I was in Korea in the mall and some guy was just walking around with two cats on his shoulders no way it's like oh. they're just balancing they just were chilling yeah that's a thing two cats two cats oh my god i can do that now so you training them to do that i'll be that guy Here. oh man so much work to train cats you, you can't. can't train cats cats are like, i think you can't, you can't cats, kind of you can i feel kind like of. they're mostly just whatever they are yeah. use the catnip that what do you know. what do you do with what what i've seen cats do tricks before like they'll like jump on your lap like drugs for them you don't. You never, you never seen cats like jump up on your shoulder, like uh, like TikToks of that. No, it's pretty great. You're you're in the wrong TikToks. I don't Cat really talk. use it. I'm, I'm really out of the loop. I've realized I'm out of the loop on so many things because I just don't use TikTok. And people are like, I saw it on TikTok. Yeah, I only see it actually because my wife sends it to me on TikTok. Yeah, friends really TikTok. send me videos of TikTok. I at the time I was like, there's too many things I don't need it, but I barely use Instagram, and I'm done with with Twitter. So oh, you use Instagram. Not really, no. But you have, you have. I have it, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Wait. I think this is gonna work. All right. That that was my only. That was my rant for my neighbor, and just lightly cover this. 
Okay. It's a magic trick. Can you open up your Instagram? I don't have it on my phone. I'm sorry. Oh, you don't have it on your phone? No. Steven, do you have an Instagram? On I your do. Phone? Okay, got your phone. Okay. And go on Shane's profile. Shane's? Yeah. Ooh, okay. Do I have to reinstall Instagram to... What? No, no, it's okay. Have you made all my followers disappear? <laughs> You've ruined me. So this is... Frozen moments in time that are spontaneous, candid, You're telling a story. meaningful. Yes, right? yes, 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 yes. I want to start somewhere closer to like the center. So we have a lot to work with. Yeah. Right? I want to just randomly shuffle through sort of like the prices, right? Or Wheel of Fortune. Like, Whoa. You know, okay. Yeah, like this. yeah, yeah. I want to make this even more random. Do you mind if we just take off your case? Too? Kevin is removing the case from Steven's phone. I'm just going to break your phone right now if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep swiping through like this. Want to swipe through? You want me to swipe? You're going to swipe this, so like this way. This way? Yeah. Still changing? Still changing. Do it one more time. What is about to happen? Oh, okay. fuck, I did it twice. I'm sorry. That ruined everything. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, you literally stopped right here. Uh -huh. Anywhere you wanted to. Whoa. Wait, what am I supposed to see? A cat? That's me and, or that's not me. That's my wife, Sarah. And wife, Sarah, and, and her beautiful and uh, dog. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> butchering the, the show. <laughs> that's me and my beautiful dog, Obi. That's my wife, Sarah, and our beautiful cat, Obi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so uh, excited about magic right now that I'm not saying the right words. Do you remember earlier I said I have like the, the clay modeling ability of like a six-year-old child uh -huh. yeah 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 but I, I was seeing something completely visual in that moment yeah and you've been holding on to that clay yeah is that obi do you kind of see what i was going for wow okay i mean oh my god that's your cat and that's sarah that's He's made it out of clay. I like this photo. That's a really nice photo. That's a good photo. I, I'm impressed. I don't know how you've done it. For the for the audio people, we literally just swiped through my phone, and it stopped on a photo of Obi, and he had a clay of Obi. Do you know we're going to talk about cats? No, no idea. I mean, we didn't even go over the topics about cats no we didn't i can confirm we do not even know the topic matt's before we confirming shoot. interesting interesting wow. i wish we did but we don't <laughs> okay now if ryan were here right now he would be trying to burn you at the stake <laughs> <laughs> no he loves magic. he would no he doesn't ryan do ryan if he sees something with his eyes he, oh, cards are coming out the, i gotta say that was very impressive I don't know how you did that, but yeah, you got you got really our, our boy Shane really scary, really scary. Just a warm up, just a quick just warm up. a so warm up. I'm, I'm gonna go through just a couple cards like this. I'm gonna go through and just touch anyone you want to. Kevin has a deck of cards, and he's just going Steven through. Has, Steven, you want this one? Steven yes. has. I will give you a chance. To change. Do you want to change? He's Should giving I change? You an option. You don't have to. If you Should don't I want change? To. No. No, I'm not changing. So this is the one. That's the one. Okay. Shane, close your eyes. I don't want you to see this card. I'm closing my eyes. Okay. Steven, you have the card? Okay. I see Yes. It. Okay. Perfect. You can open up your eyes, Shane. So he showed I've me the card. My eyes, Steven. I'm not, I'm not saying what it is, right? <laughs> You're not saying what it is yet. I'm going to see if I can get Shane to choose the same exact card. Whoa. No you way. Just okay. Chose. If you do this. <sighs> we'll see. We didn't set anything up in advance. No, no uh, we they, didn't. That pause made it seem like we did. Okay, we, <laughs> I, know, I swear we did. I was trying to make it seem like we did. We okay. don't. <laughs> this is the first time I've met you. I'll run my thumb on the side of the deck. Shane, don't let me influence you. Say stop anytime you want. Okay. Before the end, Shane. Yeah, right. Meet like halfway. Uh, stop. Right here. Yep. Where you said stop, I mean, think about it. If you stopped on the card right before, it would have been the seven of spades. Is that the one you chose, Steven? That was not the one I chose. Okay, that's good. Here, take the card that Dude, you chose. Dude, no. Just look at it yourself. Just look at it yourself. Don't show anyone else. Yeah. No. Remember it. Okay, I'm place it face down here. I've seen the card. I'm placing it back face down. Okay, so it's back inside the deck. Kevin so both the of card. you right now, just to catch everyone up, you two have a card you just selected. Mm-hmm. 
Let's see if they match. I mean, I've count done down. stuff like this before and forgotten what the card was, but I remember. I remember enough. Yes, 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 yes. Wonderful. I'm going to count down three, two, one, right after one. Both of you say out loud your card. If everything works out, it's going to synchronize. Are they, sorry, are they going to say it on, on, is it three, two, one, right go? After, right after one. So wait, three, go, go. Three, two, one, one, say it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you ready? Clarification. Three, two, one, four Six of, of spades. hearts. Wait, no. Wait, say, say, one, say it one more time. Four of hearts. Six of spades. Oh, Magic no. is hard. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, we'll, we'll, try, we'll try something did I, did with... I, uh, is something wrong? Try something with the Joker. Okay. okay. You know the other saying? Jokers are wild. Yes, that's true. So it could be anything. It could be anything. You okay. said six of spades. Yeah. I've actually never noticed. I was just staring at it just because just the lighting caught it. Do you see his shoulder pads? The Joker? No! <laughs> you see spades, right? Like literally yes, one, I see, two, three, four, five, six spades. I see six spades. spades, yes. So I got yours. And because Jokers are wild, they can be anything, right? Because yeah, so, oh, yeah we could say it's a four hearts. Sure, we can I'll say it's a that. four hearts. Yeah. So technically, this was a success. Yeah. A lot of people don't know this. Like, why why are jokers wild? Because literally two of them are included with every fresh deck of cards. If you lose like a card or two, you just use a joker as a replacement, right? Everyone agrees on it or they write it down on the face of the joker. Is that mm -hmm. the function of the joker card? That's, that's the function of the joker if you want to use it for that sense. A little bit of history intertwined. So the joker can transform, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So we can literally... Oh, when they tear the card. Oh. Transforming the joker starts to change. Like this. You see a change? Well, you're tearing it in half. Right. It's changing physically, right? Oh, sure, sure. It's changing like this. So confused. I love the way a magician tears a card. Do me a favor. Um, can you hold on to this piece? Me? This me? one? No, Shane. Yeah, you, no, no. You, you got, hold on to this one. I got yes, this got, one. And you hold on to this one. They're holding on to two halves of... You hold this other Shane, side. you hold on to this one. I know sure. it's going to be a, a far reach. But when you're ready, you see there's a little bit of card left. Yep. We're, we're Leave it face down, but rip it. Finish the rip. Okay. okay. Rip. Whenever you're ready. We're ripping a card in two together. And that completes the transformation. What okay. are you talking about? We Isn't that crazy? We don't know what's crazy. It well, completes the transformation. You give us permission and we'll look at these cards. We'll look at the underside of these cards. But no, because you had the... Six of spades. Six of spades. I had a four of hearts. Right. I'm so confused. Look at it. I need a magician's permission. Whenever you want. No! <laughs> what is, what no! Is, what? No! Wow. What? Folks, we're looking at a card that is one half six of spades and another half four of hearts. Masterful. Masterful. You done. really got me there, man. I. Oh my god! And you tore it just like a magician. Uh, I love the way a magician tears a card. <laughs> Is there a way that we tear cards? It's so it's Wait, so. Can I see this? <laughs> yes, of course you can. T two halves of one card, different. I am cards. going to go back and Matt, give me the footage later. I'm going to go frame by frame and see what just happened because you're gonna bust his. I ass. literally was watching. He was holding the Joker in his hand. The Joker had six spades on it. Then he tore it. No, it was the same card. And how is it that it's this? Did you have a, like you can't have a custom made card though? That's impossible. Because it transforms. It transforms. You have to buy into it, Steve. You have to be swept away. Did you know you what's funny? Like as you were doing the trick, I was like, man, I hope this goes well because I brought you on the podcast. I was like, he, and, and I know you're really good. And then when you like fake messed it up, I was like, oh shit, I guess he lost his touch. I knew we were still along for No, the but but then Good night. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I, I, I didn't. I was like, uh I literally Thank put you, a mark in the audio because I was like, I'm gonna cut that. <laughs> <laughs> I love in a magic trick when they, they have the built in uh No, but oopsie. I don't understand because this is one I'm looking at this It's freaky stuff, man. This is actually a card. Look, look at the card. I I was he, I'm here. This is I saw it all. We could, can we put that? I'm up like on investigating our the card. Yeah, 
Please. The, it, be your souvenir it forever. Is... Ryan's going to be pissed. He's going to be pissed. Well, uh, we can have you back sometime. Just I, I got to give it to you. That was, that was amazing. That was impressive. I love traveling. One day I'm here, and the next, I'm there. But traveling all over can be very dangerous for my data. With NordVPN, I don't have to worry. NordVPN is a service that protects your internet connection and your privacy online by creating an encrypted tunnel for your data, protecting your online identity by hiding your IP address. NordVPN protects your data like bank details, passwords, and online identity. And when traveling, NordVPN protects your info wherever you are in the world. And when using public Wi-Fi, you need all the protection you can get. NordVPN can also switch your virtual location, allowing you to save money by purchasing flights, hotels, and subscriptions from other countries at a cheaper price. One NordVPN account can actually be used on up to six devices on every major platform. Windows, Android, iOS, macOS, and Linux. To grab our huge discount off your NordVPN plan, go to nordvpn.com slash podwatcher. Our code will also give you four extra months on the two-year plan. And there's no risk with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The link is in the episode description box. Bye! Um, did you see it came out at the top of the pandemic that Derek Del Gaudio special? In and of itself. Incredible, right? One of my favorite specials ever. That's one of those shows, uh, because this trick here, incredible. Um, uh, I'm sure if anyone, like, when you're you're viewing a magic trick, Mm -hmm. you're just sort of in it, you know? And I remember after that special... Uh, some people were speculating like how he did some of that stuff. And I was like, oh, I could see maybe how he did this. But when I was watching it, the like the storytelling and the just phenomenal. I, pheno- I was so emotional at the end of that. That was my first magic show. I actually attended it. Really? At the Geffen wow. here. Well, yeah, because it. Ra- oh, did he do it in L.A.? He did it in Geffen first and then off Broadway. Wow. I went there twice because I don't know if you was I part included in the special. You get to come back. One person in every show gets to come back oh, again yeah, to the someone, show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You write in like special. a diary. You, yeah. you try to write what you think the ending will be. Yeah. So I got to watch it twice. Incredible. If you haven't seen it, I think it was on Hulu. But here's um, the thing. In the show, he makes a brick disappear. He a does. golden brick. Yeah. I was... So when he moved it from LA to New York, I was, I was there for like magic camp. Mm-hmm. And I was walking through Times Square. Then a group of my friends were like, Oh, is that a fucking golden brick? In the middle of nowhere it was <laughs> it was no literally way. from his show but like we had no idea we just ran past it that's crazy um he, yeah yeah I, I would re-watch that honestly it's have you seen it steven i have not no you know what sit down with tammy you would like yeah that. it's it's pretty short i want to say it's like hour 20 or something yeah hour and a half it's a stage show that is like sort of a long form magic he says it's not a magic show, but it's like magical. It's pretty, it's pretty mm-hmm. magical. It's pretty much, yeah. um, It's incredible. It's great. Great storytelling. Uh, and it also, it hit in, you know, it was released like mid-2020 when, uh, you know, everyone was sort of locked up. I see. And not socializing as much. What was so, the show called again? I, I'm still on the calm down of that trick that I he know. just did. It's called In and of Itself. Okay. Uh, and it's, uh, I was like... I did not expect to turn it on and then at the end of it be like, <gasps> like I was emotional, like crying. Yes. Wow. It's an emotional show. <clears throat> Sorry. I, again, I, I'm, still, when a magician, I'm still Kevin literally... just locked eyes with me in a way that only a magician can. And I, and I, and <laughs> uh, boy, here we go. What about what's it? Wait, before you go into this trade, I just, no, I just gonna... need to emotionally like exhale. Decompress. Yeah. It, no, breathe like in, I, I, out. maybe I'm like, you of need, all people, you need more magic it affects me life. the most, yeah. I think. Cause I'm already, I'm already so skeptical sometimes. Mm. I think it's fun though. Let's like, be serious. You know? I, I'm a, I'm a skeptic. I know um, that I believe that, um, you know, wizardry and, <laughs> magic are not <laughs> a real thing and i know that when people do tricks like the one you just did there's probably a lot of skill and sleight of hand involved and preparation and things i don't necessarily want to punch holes in it like mm. i do, i want to go along for the ride that's like a a tier of magic trick where i'm like i love it i don't know how he did that 
I don't know how you did the phone thing. There's, I'm not trying to learn it. Yeah. You know, there's uh, different ways of reacting, right? You have yeah. a lot of logical people. Cause I work with a lot of uh, tech companies like Google or Facebook hmm. and all their software engineers, obviously it's like, this doesn't compute. Yeah. But you have to make it playful. I think that's what it is. Like, don't take it too seriously. Make yeah. it playful. It's probably really, really, really fun to do it for like kids. Actually, kids are they are, they are worse? one of the most difficult audience members. Really? Because they they don't have filters more so than adults. Yeah. They'll just be like, ah, you did da 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 da, and you can't yeah. say like, shut up, kid. You know, in the middle of a show, <laughs> you can you can so make you that have, your. Thing. I mean, you could. I you could be the mean magician. But <laughs> shut up, child. I'd be a little mean. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Well, because they also don't know what they're talking about, right? They're just saying things that, that aren't it. Or do yeah. they know what's happening? I compare kids sometimes to, like, drunk adults because drunk mm. adults will just, like, kind of yeah. you know, <laughs> go off on you. Okay, now we're back in it. Now Kevin's locked eyes with me once again, and he's got a post-it note out and a Sharpie. And he transitioned to this pretty seamlessly. Um, mid comfortable. Oh, he's written something on the Sharpie, and he's crumbled it up. You, um... Oh, boy, here we go. He's talking to you me. You love roller coasters. He's, a, he, yeah. He's asking me a question. I do love roller coasters. Yeah. Okay. I, like, I like a smooth ride. I don't like one that boggles you up too much. Can you close your eyes? Absolutely. I'm closing my eyes. Closed. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. <sighs> Imagine you are, instead of sitting in your yellow chair right now, you're sitting in your favorite roller coaster. Okay? Okay. Yeah, you're sitting in the ride itself. And then the arm bar goes down. You're safe. Yep. Starts to go, starts to move forward. And next to you, turn to your left, you see one special person in your life. Okay. Hi. One person I couldn't possibly know. Maybe not someone we just talked about. Um, don't make it too obvious, like Steven, Stevens, or Ryan, or Matt. No one here. If you really want to throw me off in this uh, imagination or imaginary scenario, think of a childhood friend or another family member. Totally okay. up to you who you're thinking of, but someone that you know. Okay. Okay. All right. And open up your eyes. Yeah. We'll get back to that later. Okay. okay. But just continue that roller coaster in the back of your mind with that person's name. Just continue that And it's that okay if I pick someone that you don't know or that you are not like a... Okay. No, no, it could be anybody, right? But you have an iPhone. You, you don't have Instagram on it, but you, you have Safari. I have Safari. You can take a... Your phone and open up to Safari. Okay, what Safari. That's like included on all of them, right? Yeah. It's I'm going to some type sort of something in. Prime okay. video help. Oh, type something in? I'm going to type something in real fast. Okay. okay. Here. Thank you. Can you think of your favorite song? One of your favorite songs. This can be a recent song. It can be a throwback. But something that most of us would probably be familiar with. Oh, fuck. Don't, don't take it too... <laughs> Don't be too indie like a SoundCloud underground you artist. Tell me not to be too indie. Come on, man. I'm sorry. We're going to challenge you right um, now. Uh, okay. I'll think of something. Don't say it. Just think normie. of me. Uh, okay. You have it. Yeah. I thought of something. You know this website? Genius. Genius, oh, genius. is like yes, the, yes, the yes, lyric, yes. Yeah, yeah, lyric, lyric website, lyric right? Website. They have a, a YouTube channel too. You pass this back to Shane. Shane, I want you to type it in, but from this moment forward, just make sure like you're holding it towards yourself. Okay. Okay. So we can't see your screen like that. Enter in your song. Type it in. Hit search. It should, it should oh, search like lyrics some more. Okay. Yeah, and Steve, um, keep me honest. I'll close my eyes to be. This safe. isn't really one of my like favorite songs, but I. I mean, it resonates. To pick something that everybody knows. You know? Resonates with you. Okay, I've typed it in. You typed it in. Yeah. Did you click into it? Oh, let me click into yeah, it. Yeah, click into it. Let me see. Okay. And once you're inside, you'll see all the lyrics start to pop up. Mm, I see them. You see them? Yeah. Kind of scroll up, scroll down. You can see all the different lyrics, the melodies. Mm. And I want you to just... Actually, Steven, I'll leave my eyes closed. Lean in next to Shane so you can see his screen. Lean in. And I want you, Shane, to just highlight one word out of all the lyrics that stands out to you. Maybe it's like a meaningful lyric to you or it has a good ring to it. But whatever it is, use your finger, highlight it, like hold it, right? So it highlights and then so Stephen can also see it, but don't say it out loud. Okay. This feels like a pretty prominent word here. Hang on. 
So let's see even Stephen see the word. Yeah. Let's see even see the word. Okay. You okay. have it. He okay. sees it. He's I mean, got you, it. You could just lock up your phone, put it away, you can put it in your pocket. It's gone. It aside. The phone's gone. I'll put it in my pocket. It's gone. I'm gonna ask you a couple questions, like twenty questions. And that's gonna help me get a better sense of this. Okay. Okay. Look right at me. I'm gonna time I'm, I'm gonna time this. Let's see how fast. Let's see if I can beat my record. Start. Is this country? Yeah. It is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. Um, how did you hear about this song? Did you find it yourself or a friend referred it to you? I don't know. I, I've, I don't know. You don't know. You don't remember. It's, it's a song I've known for, you for know, a long time. Yeah. Okay. Um, final question. When did you last listen to this song? You can guesstimate. Uh, a year, a year or two ago. A year know. or two. Okay. Yeah. Stop. 31 seconds. Yeah. And a lot of that was that, me hemming and hawing. That's a lot honest. of time. Yeah. <sighs> yep. Oh, he's Okay. He's pulled a pair of headphones off of- I have some headphones, right? Yeah. Where did this those This is- come? Oh, I, I placed it there. Yeah, nice nice yeah. retro. <laughs> Very cool. He made those headphones appear out of nowhere. Where'd it come from? Can you squeeze this in your hand if you don't mind reaching a little bit? What? Squeeze no. <laughs> I- here, I'll, yeah, let me no, let me no, get closer got, to you got, too. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Squeeze get, it tight, tight. This is gonna help me visualize the song you're thinking of. Um, go like this with your left index finger, like midair. Imagine your mind right now is sort of the media player. Like your head is Spotify, or it's it's. This is awful. Right? So I'm holding on to the end of a headphone jack, essentially, and you're about to click me. play on this song. Okay, okay, go for it. Mm. Can you can you turn up the volume a little bit? Yeah, turn it up. Uh huh. This this is a throwback, right? Yep, it's country, like you said. <laughs> yeah. Yes. This is um this is before your time almost. I mean, not almost. Not almost. <laughs> Around there. I don't. Okay, know maybe what, my I sense know, of I don't know my sense of time out, is honestly. a little off. Are you playing in your mind, Jolene Jolene by Dolly Parton? You got. You got it. What? <laughs> what? You've got it. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Steven, can you hold on to it now? Yeah, you hold on to it. Squeeze it. Squeeze it tight. But then I want you to hold hands with Shane like right. that. So that completes a circuit. Yeah, like the finger yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah. I'm, and play it again. Almost scream the lyric that you're thinking of. One word that resonates with you. Scream it yeah. and send it here. It's almost like don't 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 take my man yeah so that's it i don't i i want to be part of a magic trick now 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 i'll get the appeal this is sick <laughs> then you can release how how was it done <laughs> <laughs> i'm very confused you know like he's asking you these questions and i'm trying to like suss out what he's trying to gather from these questions? Can I see the headphones? Yeah. I, I, That's enough. No, no, no. You can really. uh, have you guys talked at all before this podcast recording? Extensively. We didn't want to tell you, but we were up pretty, pretty late last night. <laughs> Planning. <laughs> Rehearsing this very moment. Yeah, I don't know. You know, it's a song that I, that I picked. That's the In song the moment. I picked. Yeah. Did you change your mind a couple times or that's like the one that- Can I put these on? You could. Um, I was yeah. kind of- You want to see if you really can hear it? <laughs> <too>. <laughs> um, I, uh, no, I didn't change my mind a couple times. I, I was trying to think of a song that was like, you know, known by most people. Hold hmm. this. Oh, you want to see if you can hear it? You're not magic, Steven. You're not a magic man. I don't hear anything. <laughs> Doesn't work. Doesn't, Doesn't work, work for you. I have a feeling these, I feel like these headphones are a part of the- uh, misdirection but i can't understand what happened well what is misdirection to you Steven? yeah now we're getting into it answer him Oof. it's you using something to make me think that's the source of your information but it's mm. not and i'm focused on it but it's not what you're focused on it's pretty much it it's like <laughs> 
controlling. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Just to yeah, narrow it down be. into simpler words, like controlling someone's attention. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Like you move it where you want to move it. But see, it. that's why I was trying to keep my attention on everything. I don't know if you saw, but I was like shifting back and forth. Kevin has something else in his hand. No, because I want to explain misdirection. Whoa. So it's easier to understand. He has a key. He has two so keys. So I have two keys here. Okay, he's explaining. I have a, a silver key over here. You can see this. So a brass key in his key left hand and a over here. Brass key in his right hand. Can you hold out your uh, left hand? Steven's yeah, like this, his like, left a, hand. like a table, like a table. Hold still so it doesn't fall down. And you can, for all the listeners again, can you confirm that you're holding two keys right now? I'm holding two keys. Not an illusion. I'll roll up my sleeves too, so I don't think I'm this doing is anything. when this is when it gets no real. sleeves. I can see the veins on his on his. Uh, I'm pumping blood. Arms. Okay, hold on to it tight. <laughs> is there anything in my hand? His hands are empty. Nothing in your hands. Nothing. You're going to hold tight, but move your hand away from me so it's harder for me, okay? Oh my goodness. I'm going to try to misdirect you, and you're not even going to notice. This is so fucked up. Because I'm going to misdirect you with something else, right? Yo, what with, the fuck? Uh, He's reaching into his with this. pocket. <gasps> you have a seven, seven of clubs in your in left pocket. pocket. The seven of clubs. Like, like, hold tight, hold tight. Hold oh, tight. Okay. Steven. Yeah, yeah, hold tight. Hold tight. Okay. Mind games. Um, This game, Shane. <laughs> yes. Play along with it. Matt, well, I mean, play along now, with now it. I'm a part of it. Everyone at home, you can play along with it if you're watching right now. It's called Three Card Money. If you don't know what it is, it's a card scam. Is that where they're like, follow the P? Follow the P underneath the walnut shells. Yeah. Mm. This is just follow the card. Mm. Okay. okay. This is the money card. The seven of clubs is the money card. Yeah. Okay. Whatever I do, just keep track of it. Now, we're going to make it harder by adding in another card the four, four of diamonds, diamonds. four of diamonds how four many cards do you have in your pocket you. you don't want to know don't. Yeah. <laughs> four of diamonds here seven of clubs here okay. hold out your right hand for me palm up like the same way if i put the money card over here where's the money card or was that the money card i wasn't watching i don't know okay he's a, he distracted me too well right shoot so i mean gut instinct what do you think i think it is so I already switched it, right? It's a four of diamonds. But because you Wait, two were how? distracted. The seven is the money card. The seven is the money card. Okay. So let me show you. Um, I said, hold out your hand. You looked at it for a second. I came back here and I just did the switch. Yeah. So you just touched the cards. Uh, I touched feel like cards. I clocked the switch, switch, but I couldn't remember which card was which. So, so you, it doesn't matter. So you succeeded. You have a sharp eye regardless. Yeah. So I need to make and this look, more I've challenging. Watched Leave some your hand of pen here. And tellers fool us. Okay. You see two four of diamonds now? Yeah. And a seven. It gets harder. Yeah. Three card money. I'll move slow though. We'll start off easy again. Well, it's already hard. Where's the seven? When right, I place it's it in my hand. hand. Yep, Wait. it's in my hand. No. Wait, right. really? Can I flip it? Sure. Oh, what? See, okay. Now, how did you? How did he do that? I didn't see that. Well, now he's created a. It happened. No, 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 no. The seven was in your right hand. You, he's duplicated a card though. No, no, I'll make it easier. I'll make and it easier. Teleported it. I'll make it easier. So no, but there we'll wasn't there the a two. Yeah, two fours and a seven. Oh, there's no two. There's oh, no, there's two no four two. Diamonds. Okay, yeah, I two thought you were diamonds. doing... So where is the money card chain? It's in your left hand. Right, so if I do this, where's the money card? In your left hand, right hand, left hand. Right, it's still here. People think I already what? did something, right? It's still here. Unless I do the move. And the move just looks like this. You see the move? No, I didn't see the move. I mean, you, you slapped, slapped the, You slapped some cards together. Well, now... The, oh my God. Don't tell me it's in my right hand. Don't do this to me, bro. It's too early in the day for this. Show us, show us your... Show no, us. I don't want to. Steven, show us your... I, I, I can't. Don't forget to keep those keys squeezed <laughs> real tight. I don't know how he did that. You're still, you're still holding the keys, right? Okay, cool. Cool. No, we try not to do this, <sighs> listeners, but uh, you really should probably check out yeah, the Yeah, you really got to check impressive. out this video. Look. Slow. But I've been narrating pretty well. Steven had a card in his Can you narrate the this time, part real and fast? It was, we thought it was one number, and then eventually he turned it over. And seven it, of clubs. Okay, he's putting the pocket. seven of clubs in his pants pocket. Okay, it's in his pocket. Left, in his left, pants, 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 left pocket. pants pocket, and he slapped his thigh. <laughs> <laughs> so I do sleight of hand, and I do illusions. I'm going to try to make this four look like the seven inside my pocket. You're watching me carefully. You, all of you are burning my hands. He's look. got two... I do this. I'm sure me narrating it. Okay. He changes. just flicked it. Did you see it change to the seven again? No. No, right. That's called bullshit. Oh. And so I go like this okay. and you do the move, which is that. And then it looks like the seven, right? And the one inside my pocket should be oh yeah, my the four, God. right? So yeah, you don't even me need me to narrate this. I just want to say it's really impressive stuff. Oh what's going God. on here. We think one thing's happening and then another thing happens. But this is a scam because whoever controls the cards, they control the game. Hold out your hand one last time. 
If I never want you to win, I can take that last seven, place it right there, grab a little bit of the fours. What's he done? This is not the four. What has he done? Don't tell me it's a four. Show us, Stephen. It's another it's the four. four. He made a card change. He made a card change right before our very eyes. F ladies and gentlemen, this is what? this is really this is really shocking stuff. That's the one I don't, two. I don't like what's three going card on money. Here. Thank you. Well, but wow. is the trick I plat? That was. Well, don't do that. Yeah, because you have he's, got, he's, tight, right? he's got he's got keys. Again, you're still holding onto a tight. Yeah, Matt's clapping or clapping. So there's brass and silver. Shay, name one real fast. Brass, silver, name one. Brass, brass. Imagine, imagine. That I took the brass key already. I'm holding it here. Yeah. And I place it, Stephen, in his mouth, oh. inside your pants pocket. <laughs> Don't do this. No, you did not. No, you did not put it in my pants pocket. That's a violation. That's an HR violation. Right there. You've been holding on to those two keys Correct. since the very beginning. Yep. And Shane didn't reach in secretly. Nope. Matt didn't ninja move. Nothing. Nope. Did you feel me switch it though? I said I'd misdirect you. I did not. I'm. I'm pretty sure you did not. You're seated in a way that it would be hard for him to. Yeah, put it I'm in very it. closed off. I'm like. Right. I'm like the person in Singles Inferno who is like, don't talk to me right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Steven has been in terror for the last, I want to say, 20 minutes. And you've really, clammed, you've really clammed up big time. My body language, that's, I did not realize that. I was feeling this way. I'm tight. You're tight. The brass key. You said that. I, brass said, br key. I said brass. And I put it inside your left pants pocket. Left? <laughs> All the way over there? I'm sorry, Matt. I'm just ruining the sound for you. <laughs> I feel like people listening are like, dude, he's a gaslighter. Like he's just saying now random stuff right now. Like now for the listeners, the left side of Steven's body is fully against the couch and cushion. There's there's no access. Well, well, let's go step by step. If you're holding on to two keys, you should have two keys. Okay, can I open this hand up? Sure. If there's no brass key in here, man. No. It's just one key. It's just one key. He's just got one key in his hand. Dude. Oh my God. And there's one what? Left it's in my left pocket? How? But I don't want to come near you. So, Matt, did you set this up at all? <laughs> no. No, for real. Did you guys talk to it before? I don't know. I, had a, I, I can barely produce this show as is. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely didn't add I would love if behind it. the scenes you were just pulling all the strings. <laughs> no, it's in my pocket. Are you serious? That's impressive. Wow. What? That's impressive. Misdirection. What? How did you misdirect this kid into my... I've been sitting like this. Like I'm tempted to check all my pockets now. <laughs> to see if you're all of you actually have brass keys in your There's pockets. There's keys in all of my pockets. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't take any risks. <laughs> now, the one thing on that, and I'm not, I'm not trying to poke holes here. I just yeah. think it's an interesting technique. Because for a second there, I was like, how could he have known that I was going to say brass? But... A, a thing there is you asked me to say brass, but you didn't say whether the brass key would be in his hand or his pocket, right? Because it doesn't matter. So that's a bit of an illusion. Because if I had said silver, then you could have sort of probably changed it so that the silver, like I'm yeah, impressed. The silver, the silver, yeah, the right? silver would have been there. That's, that's a cool so The silver technique. one would have been in the pocket. See, I like that you're maintaining yeah. this. I like that you're maintaining <laughs> There's not There's nothing to maintain. Oh my Everything's God. a free choice. You know, Just you know, like, okay, wait, are you still okay. thinking of the name? The name, oh, yes, shit. yes, I am. Yeah, 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 See, yeah. Oh, God. I forgot it's about that. It's all free thoughts, right? You yeah. asked me earlier, like, does it have to be someone you know? No, it doesn't. Yeah. It's like it doesn't matter what the color of the key you named is. Okay. So the name is still uh, in my mind. It's still there. Yeah. And Steven, you say you want to try something like mental-ish. Pick your phone. Yeah, open it up to uh, Safari Tab. Type in wiki, W-I-K-I. Article count, wiki article count. Like, what right is right. that? Wiki article count. Steve's taking yeah, his phone. He's typing. He's typing. For the listeners, basically, this is um, a website that updates the amount of Wikipedia articles, how many there are, roughly. So, uh, can you say that, Stephen, in the mic? There's six million seven hundred sixty-eight thousand six hundred fifty-five approximate articles. Articles. Seem I'm like going to click multiply. It'll get a lot. There's a lot more when you, things when in the world. Than in the six words, million things. Words per article. Approximately one thousand nine hundred twenty-two words per article. 
That's about 13 billion <laughs> words. About 13 billion words. I mean, okay. this is like changing every second, I'd imagine. I was excited about words. <laughs> you're going to think of one. We'll oh, click, you're, so you're saying there's a lot of words click out in. there. Yeah. And you, you can show everyone at home. You can show them the screen. Steven's looking at his screen. Yeah. Show them. The Wikipedia article. Click the magnifying glass. Uh -huh. Right there. Hold it towards yourself. Don't let him so see it, Stephen. Yeah, yeah, That's like rule like number I'll, one. I'll, I'll like he this. shouldn't have to tell you that. Don't I'll let him like see. Stephen, look at me, actually. The first word that pops into your mind, person, place, you're thinking, you can get as specific as you want or as vague as you want. First word, three, two, one. Chicken. But this time, don't say it out loud. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I should have clarified. Okay, that was okay. a warm up. That was okay, a warm up. New word. Look at me again. Okay. Three, two, one. Just hold it. Okay. And type it. Okay. You, you can show Shane if you want to. You don't have to if you don't want to. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> you said chicken, so I feel like you went the opposite way. You didn't think of anything related to food, but you went for something that's closer in terms of like where we are in our environment. Does that make any sense? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like a bunch of baloney. Um, he got his ass. This is like he got his ass. Dang it! He's got him in his sights. He's about to pull the trigger. You were thinking of the word. And again, you could have been as specific as you wanted to. Look at me. Here it comes. I can't. He's got a lock eyes with him. You were thinking of the word. Put his hand on his shoulder. Plug. No. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. He got his ass. What? Plug. Uh, Steven Steven showed me his phone and said, plug. It's plug. It's because it's because I saw a plug. Yeah. Not the most creative guy. <laughs> <laughs> real, I'll put on the spot, man. Kaiser so say over here. Look, I'm emotionally like I feel like I've been like taken on a trip, man. It's too much for me. Still going? I'm still on the ride. Still yeah, going. I'm still on the yeah, roller coaster yeah, ride over here. Did you change it a couple times? <laughs> um. So I actually thought of two different people, but they have the same name. Really? So I was like, I guess it doesn't matter. Who are you thinking of for the first time to everybody? Because we obviously didn't set anything up. Um, my friend, Brian. Brian? Yeah. Brian, and even if I went on your socials, like there's no way that I would have known you're thinking no. of Brian. I mean, you're thinking of two people that are named Brian, but you thought of Brian regardless on yeah. this roller coaster yes. ride. Yes. Okay. So I want you to go back in time a little bit and remember to that very moment where I said, I'm going to write something down or I just kind of did it. And then I crumbled it up into a ball of paper. Right. I remember, remember that, that moment. Yeah. You did that earlier. Wait, I forgot about that. Is there anything in my hand? No. I always have to check. Okay. There's nothing. I always have to check inside this. There it is. Ball of paper. Are yeah. you serious, man? I, 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 I literally can't do this anymore. I feel like I need a, Take a, a three week vacation after this. You open it. I got it. Well, come on now. Oh my god. This would be very I would be very impressed by this. God god damn. Is it Brian? God damn. You spelled it wrong, but that's you know, I can forgive that. This is that's bonkers. That's really bonkers stuff. Wait. It says Brian. How? I feel like you're in on the joke, Shane. I'm not. I'm not. I feel like I'm being punked right now. No, you're not being punked. So you literally were thinking of a Brian. I was. I have. Uh, I first thought of my friend uh, Brian because um, we've been playing a lot of Fortnite lately, and he's on my squad. Is Brian the cabin guy? Yeah, he lives in a cabin. And then I was thinking because I was thinking about roller coasters. I was like, first roller coaster, big roller coaster I ever rode was in Six Flags Great America, the American Eagle. And I was there with my friend Brian, a different Brian from from uh, first grade kindergarten, somewhere in there. Oh my gosh. Shout out to Brian. Shout out to, I, <sighs> that's, really freaky, that's freaky stuff, man. I'm not, <sighs> I don't know what to tell you. Let's uh, try one more thing, <sighs> Steven. Um, can you unlock your phone real fast? <laughs> Steven looks like... Dude, I, I am, <laughs> I'm going to pass <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, open up your... Um, oh. oh my God. Calculator. Okay. okay. Can you name a single digit right now? Six. Six. <laughs> name a single digit. 
Come on. Think of one. Nine. Yeah. Nine. <laughs> 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 Matt, Matt do it. go for it. Name a single digit. Two. Two. Six, nine, two. Click multiply. Um, I'll do... Just enter in three random numbers. Go for it. If this enters the Brian's phone number, I'm going to lose Three random my, numbers. I don't know what his phone number is. Either. Multiply. Can you enter in... Do you, how long is your password? Four numbers, six numbers? On my phone? Yeah. Uh... Uh... Six. Six numbers. Can yeah. you just enter in the first four numbers? Just enter in the four numbers. Don't press anything else after that. First four numbers? First four numbers. Yep. Good. Okay. Click just multiply. Multiply. Okay. We'll go here. The worst thing about this trick, by the way, <laughs> is he's using my phone. So there's no way it could be... I don't know what you're, what you're doing. How long is your password? It's six also. Is sure. Acquire it. To be enter... Oh, oh, we'll do... We'll do minus. Enter in your six digit password. The full um, six numbers. The full six numbers. To enter yeah, in the six digit password. password. I don't. I, I know the. Wait. I know it flipped. Hold you know, on. it's okay. If anything, as long as you got most of it. Okay. Yeah. I won't look. <laughs> Stephen's entered something. Good. I'm not going to look. I okay. respect Stephen's Equals. privacy. We got, a, we got our final result. I mean, you would agree, both of you, Matt, that, that's very random. Yes. In terms of what you just did, yes. Right, and none of you would have known you'd, you'd say that single digit number or you'd enter in like your password randomly into it until this very moment. Mm -hmm. So in many ways, this number represents all of us right now. Right here, right now. In this moment. Broing down. How? Talking about cats, Grogu, neighbors. Cats, Grogu... Cats, Grogu's, and neighbors. Grogu Nation. Is that the number of views that this episode is going to get? Oh, I like that. Yes. I hope so. <laughs> and listeners. I did one thing before we even started recording. Oh, fuck. Do you remember, Shane? Oh, you put, you put that thing over here. Can you pass that down? No. Mind? There's a piece of folded piece up of paper, paper that, that I he put. I forgot he did this. He... he Viewers can go back. Viewers, That's been there the whole time. It's been here the whole time. The whole time. He walked up and put something on the shelf behind me, and I'm I completely forgot about off. it because he distracted me throughout the episode by doing other magic tricks. Two hundred thirteen million four hundred seven thousand eight hundred fourteen. Yeah, two hundred thirteen million four hundred seven thousand eight hundred and fourteen. That number is written yeah. on the paper. But you know the craziest part about this? Even though it represents all of us right now, I really meant it. Welkies? Welchies? Grogu? Wait. <laughs> Watcher? No way! I don't Thanks know for having me doing. on the podcast, guys. Oh my guys. god. Oh my god. The sign oh, says Watcher. Wait. That's, it doesn't look like cool, as cool like this, yeah, but it looks cool. Like this. That's dope. I don't know how he did that. Uh, I, that's math magic. That's math magic. Well, you've that's really shown the range of like card magic, childhood magic, pocket, like key and pocket magic. Now I got math magic. Brain magic. Brain magic. Phone magic. Phone magic. Cat magic. Cat magic. Oh, yeah. Cat magic. made a beautiful clay. <laughs> Uh, portrait Dude, of thank you i mean we asked wife. you to be on the show like three days ago and you came up with like uh, numerous uh, tricks an insane number of I, tricks steven was like should i ask kevin to to have some tricks ready and i was like tell him he does not have to do that i'm just happy <laughs> to talk to him about being a magician and this here you really are fun wow that's crazy thanks man yeah what a start what a start to the new year i'm yeah. glad ryan wasn't here for this well, that means we got to bring you back to do one with Ryan at some point. A one on one, absolutely. <laughs> one on one, you and Ryan. Just me and Ryan. You guys yeah, he'll lose his mind. <laughs> yeah. Um. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, Kevin, thank you so much for being here. Oh, uh, hey, we don't usually have guests on here. Is there anything you want to plug or or send people to? Do you have a? What do you want to do? I mean, if yeah, if you want to stay updated with me, yeah. go on my socials: Instagram, YouTube at Kevin Lee Magic. Lee is L I. Yeah. Check yeah. him out. Follow him on his journey. 
Maybe he'll dime. freak your ass out like you did us. Mind freak. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you call yourself? The mind freak? <laughs> I think that might be taken up for yeah. it. You got a haircut recently. Yeah. Yeah, freaky. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody, uh, and listening. Um, Is there anything else we need? Ryan will be back next week. Well, Ryan will be back next week. Hey! hey. We'll transform. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and we'll see you then. Uh, bye-bye. <laughs>